Hi everybody, Jake and Aubrey here, and we are here today to talk about captions, and we are gonna make captions fun. And rewarding. <laughs> At the end of the video, we are going to have a caption contest, and the winning student will get a $50 Amazon gift card, and the yearbook staff, the yearbook class, will get another $50 Amazon gift card. So two winners, well, one winner, two payouts, right? Yeah. I don't know how to say that. One class we don't wins practice. and one student wins. <laughs> we just turn on the video and start talking. And this is complete evidence. Okay. But captions. Aubrey, do yeah. you know the alphabet? I do. Okay. Well, we'll see how well you are. All you have to do is know A, B, C, and D, and captions become fun. What do you think A stands for? Aubrey? <laughs> We really should practice these. <laughs> um, yeah, that's correct. A stands for attention getter and Aubrey loves attention. So I guess that works. Aubrey, what do you think B stands for? Bears. You're making this difficult. Um, bears are basic. They sleep in a cave half the year, eat berries. So I guess that works. B stands for basic information. And we're going to break that down a little more later on. What do you think C stands for, Aubrey? Cats. <laughs> Why cats? Because I love cats. And we, I just, cats are on my mind right now because we have like 10 cats in our barn because our cat just had kittens. That might work. C stands for complimentary information. And it is stuff that you can't see by looking at the photo. It's a story that you get to share and you get to pick that story based on the photo. So we'll get into that a little later. The last part of captioning is D. Aubrey? Donuts. Donuts sound good. Why did you pick donuts? Because donuts are so good, they deserve their own food group. Can I quote you on that? Yeah. Perfect. That'll work then. D stands for direct quote. You want to get a quote from the person in the photo, and we just accomplished that. Now we're going to break down A, B, C, D, and what each of them are and what goes into those. Okay, so let's break it down. Real fast. Attention getter. One to three words that are attention. Use your color. Bold the uh, text. Make it big. Make it decorative. Bring people from the photo to the caption. All right. And the basic info, it needs to be present tense. It's your first complete sentence and you need to have an active voice. So we're talking about our who, what, when, where, and why. And we are not using is, am, are, was, were, be, being, been, any of those B words that I remember from eighth grade English. I didn't take eighth grade English. <laughs> All right, C, complimentary information. Unlike basic information, it's told in past tense. We're telling a story before or after the event that's not obvious by looking at the photo. The cat's in the barn. You might have a photo of Aubrey's barn, but we don't know the story. The cats, 10, 15 cats, how many are ever in that barn? That's the story. Okay, direct quote. Get a quote from the person in the photo, one of the people in the photo. Get it right now. Get it while the emotion's in their heart. Get it while it's in their mind. Don't call them a week later. It's old news by then. It's old feelings by then. It will not have the impact to your readers. That breaks it all down. Now, how do you win $50? Aubrey, how do they win $50? They do the best caption on our picture. That is A, B, C, D. And that picture is going to be on our Instagram channel. Is it called a channel on Instagram? Handle. I don't know. Instagram page. page. Go to Idaho Yearbooks. Give us a follow. Make sure your students uh, give us a follow. We release all our videos and content there. We're going to post a picture today of Aubrey and I doing something we haven't decided yet. Best A, B, C, D captioning. D stands for direct quote. You're going to need a quote. I didn't think about that. Call Aubrey for a quote. 208-989-989. Don't do that. Um, they make up a quote? or no, uh, Give them a quote right now. Give okay, them a quote. okay, okay. Uh, donuts deserve their own food group. There's your quote. Now you just need your good A, B, C. And the deadline is October 14th. And October 15th, we will announce the winner and send $50 gift card to the winning student and to the yearbook staff. And um, who's going to be grading this? Mike Taylor? 
Should we call Mike Taylor? Let's call Mike Let's Taylor. Let's call Mike Taylor. We're going to make Mike Taylor choose the winning caption. So we know it has to be good. And we will see you next time. Thank you.